apes will earn I. Will earn. And I will conquer. When, when, when I first wanted to act, like I was obsessed with Shakespeare, I only wanted to play the bastards. I had no interest. I didn't, I didn't want to play Hamlet or Romeo or anything. Like I wanted to be Iago, I wanted to be Petruchio. Yeah. There's something interesting about stepping outside. I spent my whole day being a nice Canadian boy from Thunder Bay. You know what I mean? Being polite and, and then all of a sudden I have license to just lean in. I used to think way too much, um, <laughs> you know? In life, I, 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 I think I got to a certain age where I decided that um, thinking bad, uh, too much th <laughs> thinking bad, um, I think we over-process, over-analyze everything to the point where we just end up locking ourselves in a room and, 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 and not getting out and exploring life. Um, you know, I started to really find uh, the joy in playing a giant spectrum of humans and apes. Say his words! Say his words! What a wonderful day! Once you started to figure out how that informed movement, all that stuff came, and then uh, character started to seep in. Proximus started to speak. And it was rooted in this idea that he understands human history from its from the beginning of, of Homo sapiens showing up on the planet Earth. He's he studied everything he could get his hands on. He knows the nature of man. And he knows that he has to do whatever he possibly can to keep a paradigm power shift from happening. 